Yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode of Joys of the Junk Era. I am going to talk uh, today about uh, my trip to the White Plains Sports Car Memorabilia Show in up in Westchester. I had an interesting experience. I had not been to a baseball card show ever. I don't recall at least going to one. So I didn't know what to expect. It was uh, in super interesting. I mistakenly, I think, brought my four-year-old son along. So I would say I got in about 10 minutes of actual looking at cards and about an hour of chasing him around. Uh, my dad was there too uh, and proceeded immediately to buy him a large orange crush from the concession stand so my son went absolutely crazy on some kind of sugar kick and most of the time was spent chasing him down i did manage to get a few uh pickups of all sort of sorts and variety i will show those off in a second but i just i took some footage so here's that footage and then i'll come back and talk about what i picked up Please come to the stage. I could do that as a, as a token. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you can see it was absolutely packed. It was exciting. There were some big names signing autographs there. A bunch of Mets guys. There, uh, Zach Wheeler was there. R.A. Dickey, Stephen Matz, John Smoltz, Tom Glavin. They were all on the stage when I got there. I didn't, I didn't get any autos or anything. Uh, as I mentioned, it was not. It was not the sort of trip where that was in the cards. It was a $10 admission fee. I had to play, pay 15 bucks for parking, but I think it was a neat experience, totally worth it, and I will probably go back. I think there's another one in March. I'll probably go back to that, and uh, I'll probably go back by myself. So I got this box, um, this factory sealed 92 upper deck. Um, I'm on, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll probably, just, I'll probably just break it on the channel there's not anything like too super exciting here but i do remember that the cards in this set are really fun to look at they're kind of light-hearted and they have that nice upper deck photography uh and then i got this which i thought maybe i could get my son to open with me at some point so i'm gonna hang on to this this is like just uh uh the panini triple play not not anything like too exciting um, I also got for him these, which he wanted and then promptly forgot about. I got, uh, they gave us this when we came in the door. This was because I had a kid with me. It was like a mix of football. I already opened it and flipped through it. A mix of football, basketball. There was some baseball somewhere in here. Alonzo Mourning. Um, I think it was basically mostly just kind of, it's like for the kids, you know, but then I apparently didn't realize this, but he won a, I guess an autograph for Steve Garvey, Ray Knight, Andrew Jones, or Bob Lilly, but we didn't use it because those guys were not there when we were there. At least I couldn't, I couldn't figure that out. It was totally, totally hectic. And also... I, you know, I don't think my son really cared, and um, I didn't want to schlep through the line for that. And then there was a pack of hockey cards, uh, you know, 2012-2013 score hockey cards. I can't think of something I'm less interested in, so let me know if uh, you want those. I guess I'll, otherwise I'll just save them. I'm not going to not gonna open them. All right, so then I, I was able to spend a couple minutes at the... Uh, just looking through, there was like a 25 cent bin. And so these were my 25 cent pickups. I just kind of sorted th sorted through them really quick and pulled out cards that I liked. I thought this this McGuire Stadium Club was really nice because you get the great, beautiful photography, but you also get this old school McGuire image. Uh, he looks quite young there. So I liked that. Uh, I got this optic Yachty. 
I think this Ken Griffey Jr. is as good as any Ken Griffey Jr. card you could possibly pull, um, save for maybe the 89 upper deck. It's just an awesome card. It's super simple. It's got a great shot of Griffey back in his Mariners uniform. I do not think there is any... Uh, it does not detract that there is no team logo or anything like that. It's just a cool, nice-looking card, and I had to get it. Here's the 91 Fleer, Griffey, 88 Don Rose McGuire, classic. Uh, this was a quarter, so I thought I might as well get it. Johnny Bench, 1980 record breaker. It's like super off center. Another Griffey, uh, 92 Don Russ. This awesome Frank Thomas Pinnacle. I got this because I'd never, ever seen this card before. It's just such a strange looking card. It's got his picture, and it's like... He's cracking open space-time to show you another picture of himself. I thought this was an awesome-looking card. It's just sort of... It looks like it's out of uh, out of that movie with Tom Hanks. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it, but it's, it's kind of uh, got this creepy, futuristic quality to it. Uh, I just really... I really liked it. Vanilla Sky. Right, right, right. All right, and then this awesome Piazza with uh, him looking out from the dugout. You can see the reflection of the field in his glasses. Another Griffey. And I got this, uh, this, this Ozzy. I, I already have this several times over, but it was only a quarter, so I thought I might as well. And then I ventured into the world of slabbage uh, and quite enjoyed my experience. I picked up three Ozzy 1980s tops slabs. An 8 of the 87 Ozzy All-Star card. A 9 of the... I don't know what OC means. Maybe someone can tell me what that is in the off-center. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I liked this card, and uh, it's in a Mint 9 84 uh, tops. And then an 81 tops Ozzy. So I think I'm going to try and get the other tops 80s Ozzy's in slabs. I, I, you know, I was a little ambivalent about slabs, putting cards in slabs because it makes them so inaccessible, but I'm actually finding them to be quite nice. I know that there are, most everyone else out there is engaged in the PSA submission process. I'm very curious about that and would like to try to submit some cards once I figure out how to do that. But this is worth it to me because I get this really nice, simple frame. It keeps the card protected. And around my apartment, that is... Protection is no guarantee. It's like a war zone here in terms of keeping my cards from any number of kid-related issues. Uh, and I'm uh, sort of kind of kind of high on these slabs right now. So I don't know what what will come of that, but I'm interested in finding out more. So more on that at some time later. Uh, thanks for watching this video of my Westchester card show uh, pickups, and we'll see you next time.